This video is sponsored by Fully. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video for more information. CES day three and my first day of attending the main convention as well as splitting time and going to the Showstoppers event. So I'll try to go over as many different products as possible. Hopefully keep the video short, but not totally sure. Uh, but I wanna go over some of the interesting things I saw on CES 2023 day three. But of course, be sure to like and subscribe Follow me on Twitter or Instagram, but most importantly, be sure to check out all of MacRumor's social media, primarily Instagram and TikTok, as I will be posting some really cool short form content there over the next week. All right, first up is Lenovo, and when I got to their booth, I immediately saw this tablet keyboard folio. Does it look a little familiar? Lenovo even admitted that this is definitely a bit iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard-esque, but there are a few differences, mainly the look of the keyboard when detached and the placement of the pogo pins, and I do not believe, or at least I did not see if there were any charging ports on the bottom base here like the Magic Keyboard, but overall, this is a really nice looking tablet. The 14.5 display is so sharp and vibrant. It's an OLED panel, and honestly, I think it could really compete with the iPad Pro's mini LED display. There's a pencil that charges on the back wirelessly, and it also docks there magnetically. And all three of these items come in the package together with the tablet, so you don't have to buy it separately. The other cool thing here is that there are two USB-C ports on the tablet itself, and one could be used for charging while the other could be used to connect to an external monitor or make the tablet itself an external monitor with another tablet or computer. Lenovo also had a few e-ink devices, one being a more generic e-ink tablet that could be used for note-taking and reading documents or PDFs, but this other e-ink device is actually a secondary display for this Windows laptop. So one side is a color e-ink display with a very low refresh rate designed for writing out documents or doing things that doesn't really require a lot of the refresh rate to kick in so you're not consuming media or anything. And it can obviously harvest a ton of battery life so that when you do those intense tasks later in the day, you have more battery. Then you want to use the main display, you just twist it around and boom, the content that was on the e-ink is now on your main display, which is actually really, really cool. The Yogabook 9i is a wild laptop with two displays and a ton of functionality behind it. There's waterfall mode where you can have one long document flowing to one display to the other. Obviously different content on each display is probably the most popular use case, but I just love the versatility. From the stand to the integration of the Bluetooth keyboard that you can completely detach if you want to, or you can move it around on the bottom display so that you have partial screen available above it or below it, which is what Lenovo calls its widgets to display different information. Uh, and you can even write notes to the side of the trackpad and you can send those notes to different apps. And if you wanted to completely remove the keyboard and use the bottom screen like a traditional laptop, there's a full on digital keyboard and trackpad available. I love this type of stuff. I'm sure we probably won't see something like this from Apple for a long time, if ever but this type of stuff always intrigues me and I think is true innovation in my opinion. Speaking of intriguing, it seems easier than ever to get a camera into your fridge or pantry for easy food identification that extends beyond just seeing what's in your fridge because these new fridge cams from Chefling have a fantastic app behind it that can also build automatic shopping lists and even recipes based off of what the camera detects inside of your fridge or pantry. This is what I need in my house because I can't tell you how many times we've forgotten uh, to buy something or accidentally bought products that we just purchased recently. Also, getting inspiration behind different recipes or diets to follow based off of your current food inventory is always a really nice touch. Hyper had some cool new chargers and hubs, but one of the things that caught my attention is this USB-C media hub for your iPad because the iPad media control buttons are nowhere to be found, and this just makes it so front and center, which is a good reminder, again, that having no media controls on the iPad keyboard is a travesty, but this hub gives you those abilities as well as expands ports to give users a USB-A, micro SD, standard SD, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Targus had one of the world's first ambidextrous mice where you can basically lift the mouse up off the base and rotate it back on to be either left or right-handed, depending on which orientation you prefer, which I guess solves a problem for those who like to switch hands. I'm just kidding, I think the primary and obvious use case here would be for a family computer where maybe someone in the household is left-handed and others are right, so you can just share one mouse. 
Zenders chargers just keep getting crazier in my opinion, and the Super Base V can basically offer enough power and charge to help power nearly everything you have in your house, if not your entire house, if the power goes out, and you can even build off of these chargers, and if you combine more of them, you can maybe charge your entire electric vehicle, which is incredible to think about. It's really large and very heavy, but if you have over $4,000 to spend, it does have wheels and a handle, and it looks like a monster of a battery. Going in the opposite direction for size, uh, for charging, Ugreen's Nexode is offering a 200 watt USB-C desktop charger that can basically charge two MacBook Pros at once at 100 watt output for each of them and can fast charge six devices at once, all in this very tiny form factor, all things considered. There are other products in the lineup that just keep getting smaller as you can go down in wattage, but it's still a pretty crazy form factor given the wattage output for some of these. I finally got a look at the elusive Next monitor that is a monitor with a floating wireless charger next to it uh, that you can put your iPhone, but in this case they had the Samsung phone showcased here because it was showcasing how it could use DeX, uh, which is pretty cool, but also the main reason why I think this is cool is that it fits your Mac mini perfectly here, and so it was kind of designed to, for the Apple users, you can put your iPhone next to the monitor, you can put your Mac mini down here at the base, or even maybe a Mac studio, and you kind of have a all-in-one looking setup, which is cool, but unfortunately it wasn't set up that way at the booth. Uh, and also, Next Dock is a cool laptop product that can turn your Samsung phone using DeX into a laptop, and the new iteration of this Next Dock now utilizes DeX wirelessly, which is great for you Samsung users out there. And lastly, a few more products that caught my attention were these two products from Lockly, which would be the Deadbolt Lock. Uh, it's unique because of the incredibly fast fingerprint scanner that's available to unlock your door, office, whatever the case may be. And Lockly even offers one that doesn't need to replace existing deadbolts, but instead kind of goes over it and then puts a little fingerprint sensor there at the bottom base of the deadbolt. And it works with your existing hardware. If you're unable to remove it, maybe you're in an apartment or condo or have strict HOA, whatever the case may be, you don't have to remove the hardware. You can kind of work with what you have. And the company also has this technology available in its new safe that they just launched uh, to help keep those high-priced valuables even more safe and secure by using your fingerprint to open it. Victrola's new Stream Carbon and Onyx turntables are unique in the fact that these are some of, if not the only turntables that allow you to stream directly to Sonos speakers for your vinyl records. I have had the pleasure of testing the Stream Carbon over the last couple of months, and it works incredibly well, and it looks so good. The new Onyx is actually $200 cheaper and works the exact same way, but just made up of different materials that allows for it to be cheaper. Plus, it streams your entire vinyl collection to your Sonos setup. If this is something you're looking to do, I highly recommend. Oh, also, Sony and Honda made a car. I still have no idea if this will ever see the light of day or be remotely affordable, but it does look cool, so just wanted to show you that. Before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, Fully. Fully is a fantastic company that makes and sells furniture that is not only beautiful, but well-built and designed to create a healthy, supportive workplace where everyone can feel and do their best. Fully offers a stunning array of sit-stand desks, like my personal favorite and classic, the Jarvis desk, that looks incredible with a bamboo top. Of course, it is height adjustable and programmable, but there are also other sit-stand desks like this unique four-legged Nolan desk. I've actually never seen a sit-stand desk quite like this before. Fully doesn't even stop there. They offer incredibly comfortable desk chairs, some from even really popular brands like Herman Miller. There are couches available for lounging around, and my personal favorite, this Colby bamboo shelving unit that you've definitely seen in the background of all of my videos for well over a year now, because I've been using Fully stuff for so long, and we are super happy to be partnering with them on an upcoming new studio project. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video, and also visit the link in the description down below for more information on all of the great furniture that Fully has to offer.